Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Katie Stone, and this is Stone Second Sense. Now, today I'm going to be diving in and hopefully wrapping up all this nonsense that's been going on in New Mexico. I put out a short earlier today letting you guys know that there's been a temporary block on the temporary ban from the governor. The governor has responded to this block. So let's take a look. What does the governor have to say? Today, a judge, this was yesterday. Today, a judge temporarily blocked sections of our public health order, but recognized the significant problem of gun violence in this state, particularly involving deaths of children. I refuse to be resigned to the status quo. As governor, I see the pain of the families who lost their loved ones to gun violence every single day. And I will never stop fighting to prevent other families from enduring these tragedies. To be clear, gun violence and drug abuse are acute threats to public health and safety in this state. We will stay the course by increasing state police presence in Bernalito County, arresting the hundreds of violent offenders, with outstanding warrants still on our streets and directing our public health care systems to immediately expand capacity to accept persons experiencing drug addiction and homelessness. Over the past four days, I have seen more attention on resolving the crisis of gun violence than I have in the past four years. Now is the time to bring clarity of purpose. New Mexicans must feel safe walking home from school, driving to the grocery store and leaving their hometown baseball stadiums. Who will stand up and protect families and children? I will. And I call on the leaders across the state from local law enforcement to legislature to mayors and county commissioners stand with me and enact solutions to save people's lives. Throwing up our hands is not an option. No one ever argued with this governor on the fact that they have a problem with violence or drug abuse. The problem was that she decided that she was gonna override the Second Amendment and take away the rights of law-abiding citizens because criminals hurt people with firearms. There's so much going on in her state that she has issues with, I think it was 11 to 17 is where they're having a lot of their problem in children. Them having firearms or them getting firearms illegally because you cannot have a firearm legally from 11 to 17. That's, that's not allowed. That's not legal. But these individuals right here, even if they are children, are not legal law-abiding firearm owners. They can't be. They're not allowed to have a handgun. They're not allowed to do any of the things that they're doing. So ladies and gentlemen, we need to start going to the root of the problem and figure out what is it that these 11 through 17 year olds are missing in their life where they're turning to violence or drugs and firearms. Like, where are we missing? That's what we need to do. Anyways, I'm glad that people are willing to stand up and be like, hey, I know we don't usually say this, but it's not the gun's fault. So we need to do better. Because, well, they didn't want to all get thrown out of their positions and arrested. But anyways, I want to know your thoughts on this down in the comments. Hopefully, once this goes to trial, they'll be like, hey, listen, lady, you're off your rocker. Maybe she'll get arrested. I don't know. If she does, she gets arrested, you can guarantee we'll have a, like a, a live or something. We'll have a discussion on it. But I want to hear your thoughts on this. What was going on with her? What was her thoughts on this? Was she just a guinea pig to see if we could do it in other states? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button, please. Have a great day.